Hi there. Early in the spring, it's Tad's Tips at Timberstone. Got the big stick out, got the driver, first part of the year. Boy, I'm gonna stand up and kill it. I'm gonna hit it hard. Well, let's make sure we get the golf ball in the right position to swing within ourselves. Sometimes swinging extra hard doesn't always create the best shots. Now we wanna create club head speed, as I've talked in other tips, swing the hard club hard and to warm up with so we get after we've stretched out, don't do it before, but after we've stretched out, swing it so we create some more club head speed. But when we're over the ball, we wanna make sure that we're still smooth, but we've just created that extra club head speed. When I hit the driver, I set it up off my left instep because when I swing, the middle bottom of my, part of my swing is right here, I'm hitting down, but as the club moves through, it starts to hit up. We wanna catch that driver on the upswing to make it tumble. Every ball comes off with spin, okay? We want the driver to stay around three to 2,000 spin. So you hit it, it goes up, it plateaus, the spin starts to come off and it'll tumble. If you hit it with more spin, it's gonna rise, come down and not go as far. So we wanna optimize our driver. The funny thing about optimizing our driver, everybody's gonna hit a little different. We have a fitter out of here by the name of Craig Grudy, number one fitter in the state of Idaho. So after you do this, if your driver's still struggling, you might want to give him a call and get fit. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this now. Set up. Right here. Little waggle I got. Little off the toe. 3,000 spin. 2.8B, I hit it on the upswing. Those are some numbers. I'd like to lower the loft a little bit, but was the first swing for an old guy. It wasn't bad. So if you're having a problem with your golf game, try this out. Or come out and see us. Tad's Tips on Tuesday, 208-639-6900.